before we begin, I'll tell you this vitally important science is marred by individuals seeking claim over it, over the knowledge, the process, even the terminology. In addition to being repulsed at the notion that something so important could be subject to intellectual property-esque discourse, the science is over a hundred years old, maybe older. Now yes, there are recent sources, like this one from 2002, it's not bad. Here's one from 1992, there was a brief flurry of interest in the topic then. How about 1974, the Jupiter effect? Another old one here, I had to get the Sacred Science Institute to print this for me. Another one from the 70s. These are all good, the older ones are very hard to find. The point is, nobody owns this, and nobody should try to. Now most of you know about the earthquake watches significant geocentric planetary positions and some space weather aspects. Geocentric means Earth-centered as we look from the Earth, and such geometry is the same method for long-term flare prediction, except this is heliocentric, as seen from the Sun. There are finer points to the long-term prediction, you can see some of them in this video featuring Patrick Garrell's work or this one by DC Symbols. You will get all the links to vet this afterwards, but I'm keeping it simple here. Let's look forward. It's August 9th, 2012. In three days, on August 12th, Mercury and Venus will enter heliocentric conjunction. When we zoom out, Uranus is revealed and positioned along that same trajectory. One day later, Mercury will conjoin Uranus, and two days after that, Venus will conjoin. If we come back to this view here, move forward three days and line up Mars, we see that it is in heliocentric opposition with Jupiter. Come on, there we go. So August 12th to 18th should see an uptick in solar activity, especially uh, compared to the quiet that we have right now. But that's not all that there is to this. The near-term forecast is equally important, and it's based on sunspot classification. Based on solar magnetics, you first need both polarities to be worried, beta class polarity. Now the most dangerous thing you can see is a delta spot. That's both polarities, positive blue and negative red, close together within one penumbra, that's the orange area surrounding the black umbra. Gamma class occurs when there are both polarities and there's enough complexity, everything's jumbled up, that you can't easily separate the blue from the red with a single continuous line. The more complex and the larger the sunspots, the bigger chance of a strong M or X class flares, and without it, all the planetary positions in the world won't make the sun fire one at Earth. Now this is what you will find in the info box. Up top, you can find those videos from before and other sources discussing not only the science, but this same time as being under the flare watch. While we are here and discussing it, I assume most saw the last earthquake watch and explanation we put out. If not, that video is the first link under earthquake predict, uh, prediction. Below that are some other quake forecasters. They will really get your mind going. They may even agree with a concurring earthquake watch combined with this particular flare watch. Mars and Saturn are set to conjoin geocentrically in the evening sky, August 14th. In addition to the solar flares we just discussed, we got some serious coronal holes set to be geo-effective and a big one swinging in behind it to finish the watch. Bottom line, we are days away from a potential uptick in both solar activity and earthquakes. Info boxes below, I suggest you use it. Eyes open. Be safe everyone.